have a picture from right here. So, Mr. Yoda. Hi, everyone. I guess I should have a, a home advantage given that you're all in my space. So, <laughs> the funny thing is, the reason why I became a VC, I'm brand new by the way, I'm six months old in VC. The reason why I became a VC is because I wanted, I did not want to do this ever again. Uh, but yet, here I am. So, before I was a VC, I was actually co founder and CEO of Happy Five. What we did was we did enterprise grade software for uh, performance management. Uh, but now I'm a VC. So why did I make that jump? First of all, I didn't want to do this again, but here I am doing it. Second of all, I did not understand what VCs wanted. So I figured, what's the best way to read your opponent's mind or your partner's mind than to join them, right? So here I am trying to understand. Still don't understand how we do things. By the way, please don't send this to my boss. I might get fired. Uh, now, but, but most importantly, the third thing is I really fell in love with tech. And I felt that as a VC, I could do so much uh, and help the entrepreneurs, both the ones that I just see I meet and I don't get to invest in them, and those that I do get to invest in them. So that's the reason why I became a VC, because I enjoyed my journey as an entrepreneur and I wanted to see other people's journeys materialize. Now, about Vertex, right? So Vertex is maybe one of the oldest funds in Southeast Asia. We're historically a Temasek link company, but we've made ourselves independent over the past couple of years. Uh, we're a network of funds. What that means is we have funds everywhere across the globe. So I belong to the Southeast Asia and India fund. Uh, we have colleagues in China, we have colleagues in Israel, we have colleagues in the US. Uh, we have two global funds that does only healthcare and growth capital. In total, we manage about two and a half billion dollars. So that's quite sizable for a VC fund. And uh, our fund manages 210 million actively today. So, what do I want to see from entrepreneurs? Or what kind of investments do we make? So first of all, we are an early stage fund. What that means is we do Series A, sometimes we do C, sometimes we do B. In what kind of companies do we invest in? Our thesis is essentially to back regional uh, tech uh, champions. So some of the portfolio companies that are quite large already are, for example, Grab. So we were the first investor in that. And hopefully soon, Instagram. <laughs> um, yeah, so, but what do we look, when, when, when we meet entrepreneurs, what do we look out for? So first of all, given that we're such an early stage fund, we try to see whether or not they have what it takes. So what, like, who are these founders? Why are they different? Do they have the passion? Do they have the experience? Do they have the willingness to go the distance? And how do we know that, right? So as a team at Vertex, uh, we're a quite unique bunch because we have a accumulation of expertise. We work as a team. So our bosses have been, have been VCs for the past 20, 30 years. So they've seen it. They've seen booms. They've seen busts. Me and Julian have been on the entrepreneurial route. He's a little bit more successful because he exited. Um, I'm still working on it. Uh, <laughs> um, so if you want to know what to do right, go to him. If you want to know the mistakes that you shouldn't make, go to me. Um, <laughs> But the idea is we try to help these entrepreneurs on their journey. So what do we give them, right? We give them capital, of course, because that's the whole idea of VC. Now, the second thing is we give access. Now, Jeffrey was right. You give access to human resources. You give access to connections, to business development. And essentially, we become their partners in their journey. Um, but the thing is, all the VCs that you'll see today will say the exact same thing. I'll give you access. I'll give you uh, my experience. But the thing is, uh, at Vertex, what makes us different is we've actually proven it. You can ask any and all of our portfolio companies, including Pratek here, <laughs> and they would say that we do to our uh, we do to our best efforts help our portfolio companies. So I guess I've covered everything, and I'm open to questions. Um, for you in particular, since you have been an entrepreneur yourself. Uh, what can you, if, if a company works together with you once you have invested, uh, benefit from your background? Okay, so this is what I feel. This is uh, my opinion, it doesn't reflect <laughs> uh, the opinion of others. So, look, as an entrepreneur, you know that you need to do a million things. But the thing is, you don't have time to do a million things. So you do one thing at a time. 
Now, I think being an entrepreneur, you sort of emphasize because as an investor, what we want to do is we want to see the companies grow. All right? We, we give them advice, we give them uh, guidance. But as an, entre like, as an ex entrepreneur, I feel that even though I know I need to grow, I also have experience how to prioritize. And sometimes I tell them not to do so. So it's, it's, it's quite weird, right? So typically investors tell you to do everything you can to, to grow. But sometimes I will tell the, the companies that I help to step on the brakes a little bit. Don't do two, three, four, five things at once. Just do the one thing, but make sure you do it on that one thing. And I think, so I was a consultant before this. As a consultant, I used to have like 10 key initiatives. There's no such thing that's 10 key initiatives, right? There's only one key initiative. And that's what I try to convey. So um, you, you're new to the, to, the, to the investment scenes from the other side of the table. Yeah. Um, have you ever met um, a founder that you didn't like, or you like the startup? And what have you done for you? Like you like, you like the idea, you like the market, but you just don't like the founder. If, if there is any, any, any such case. You mean besides stealing the idea? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, no. So, so look. Um, when you look at a startup, you look at a, like a lot of things, right? You look at the founder, you look at the market, you look at the product. And there are some instances where maybe the founder, maybe not liking is such a strong word, but it's not the right fit, I would say. So maybe they lack certain experiences or lack certain kinds of mentality or something like that, right? Of course, ideas are cheap. At the end of the day, given any idea, if there is no great teams to back it, it won't materialize. So if we in your words, don't like the founder. The idea for us is just an idea. We'll try to find something, we'll try to find another set of, uh, another team that might want to do something similar or the same. Uh, no more questions. All right, thank you. <laughs>